Hi folks, you know who it is. It's me, Sandra. I know it's been more than just a minute since I uh, made a vlog and um, I figured it was time to um, share myself with the world again. I know you miss me. Um, let's see, my teeth are pretty much um, in pretty good shape. Um, what do you think? Tell me, I want to hear um, if you think they look natural. This is my temporary denture. I get a permanent one maybe in six months from now. The only, it's not, the difference between the temporary and the permanent, the, excuse me, the temporary, the impression was made while I still had my own teeth in my mouth, so they have to like work around that so they're not perfectly shaped, just, you know, perfectly for my mouth. Then they wait six months or so for everything to settle down and your gums shrink up or whatever. And then they make another impression and they make these exactly to your um, to the right specifications. Anything you want changed, anything about this one you don't like, you get it um, totally um, made just for you. Now, this is just my upper teeth, not my lower. So um, I think I'm going to be keeping my lower. I'm going to get a bridge. I have a couple of things missing. But um, anyway... You tell me what I think. What you think? Actually, now I was gonna get injectables because I had like a lot of wrinkling and these nose to mouth lines and whatnot, and um, uh, I think it was just because of my 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 teeth problems. You know, with the teeth in, I don't have that anymore. You know, they call it marionette lines, this nose to mouth, and I think those lines. I'm still gonna get the injectables that, that for like under the eye bags and around my lips, but other than that, um. I just think I'm hot to truck. What do you think? 56, looking good, looking good. God, I gotta love myself because if I don't, who is, you know? Um, it's all about um, self esteem and learning to love yourself. Um, I'm having some issues with my oldest daughter, and um, I feel like she's ashamed of me. She doesn't want people to know who I am. and um, I've been trying to explain to her how this really hurts me and my personal opinion is it doesn't matter what or who your mother is um, as long as she loves you she's there for you and she's supportive of you um, I wasn't the best mother to these kids so um, I've done everything I can or I've tried to do everything I can to make it up to them and to be there for them now be present in their life um, I'm there for them financially and spiritually and as a mother and as a friend I made a lot of mistakes as a parent and um, I didn't discipline them um, I had drug issues so I was actually in prison um, for a couple of years and gone from them so you know I, you know I when they get angry at me about the past they have every right to and I let them I validate their feelings because you know I was wrong I mean I was wrong they were right and they have I, you know, I don't want them to have permanent problems because of that. So, you know, and they do. They were traumatized, you know. And I take per full responsibility for what I put my kids through. On the other hand, um, I had m I had some really serious issues. And I had some really serious problems. And unfortunately, my parents aren't as um, as willing to take responsibility for their actions. Now, I don't blame them for anywhere that I'm at today. I've made my own choices. I, you know, my mistakes have been my own choosing. Um, and I'm, I don't blame them for anything that's happened to me as an adult. But, I had a very traumatic childhood. Now, I wasn't um, physically abused, like beaten or anything, or molested or anything like that. But, I was meant to, you know, it, I felt terrible about myself. I felt I was unworthy, ugly. I thought nobody would ever love me. Um, that I was just really, you know, repulsive. That, you know, it was, I just had a lot of issues. I think it started, I was born with a birthmark. Now, you probably can't even see it. I have a birthmark on my cheek. The makeup's on it right now. But um, it's a red birthmark. It's called a port wine stain. And I think it used to come up a little higher on my face. And, um... It really bothered my mother. I was too little at her. I know. How could it bother me? But um, that was number one. And um, I think because of that, we never had that mother-child bonding that you do when you have a baby. Um, 
And it went on from there to escalate. I was really sent messages that I was just a freak and um I was tr you know, I was always trying to, they were always trying to change me. So um it's taken a lot of years to learn to love myself, just me, and not try to change myself. There's a lot of things about me I need to change and work on. But as far as me, you know, my just me as a person, there's nothing about myself that needs to be changed, and neither, and with you either. The Creator made you just the way you're supposed to be. You're perfect. And you need to love yourself and accept yourself and, you know, really take a look at yourself. There's got so many beautiful things about you. You need to learn to accept that, that you're a wonderful person. And we all have problems, too. And it's up to us to work on those problems, to, to identify them and work on them. Um, now, that's the difference as I've gotten older. I'm able to identify a lot of my problems. I don't go to a shrink or anything. I've really done a lot of this on my own. And I'm able to identify the problems that need to be worked on, and I try to work on them. I do have some problems that I don't work on, and I should, and I'm just in denial. I'm not even in denial. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready to do some of the things I need to do. So I do the best that I can. Um... Right now, I'm really working on this. This thing with my daughter just really hurt me. And um, it brings back a lot of these childhood issues, and I realize I have to work on them more. Um, I just felt terrible about myself. And because of that, I was very dramatic just to bring attention to myself. Any, anything that would bring attention to me, I did it because I felt I was not going to get in any other way. I wasn't worthy. I was not appealing. I was not attractive. I was just you know, I wasn't lovable. And um, it's sad, but that's the truth. That's how I felt. I don't think my parents did it purposely. I think they um, went along with whatever their pediatrician told them or something to that extent, what I've been told. But see, now my parents haven't spoken to me for almost 15 years, and I really tried hard this year to work on some kind of reconciliation, just even a short time um, for Thanksgiving or whatnot. And it just hasn't happened and I've been really sad about that because I really have been trying to stop the cycle with my kids you know stop the cycle of, of self abuse and um, uh, hatred and um, low self esteem and they deserve we all deserve love in our life um, especially from our parents that's unconditional um, and uh, there's, of course, you can have things about your family that you don't love, but as a human being, as an individual, your mother, your father, you should have unconditional love for them, and vice versa. Of course, there could be things that you cannot stand about your parents, and <laughs> believe me, I've got plenty of things. But um, I think we should always, you know, sometimes situation is so painful that you have to separate yourself. And at the time, um, I think it was probably a good idea that we didn't speak, but 15 years is a long time. I've written them, I've sent them letters, I've sent my mother roses, I've just um, done everything I can possibly do right now. I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, anyway, I'm very sleepy, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to fall asleep here, and um, I'm, um, I just wanted to stop by and say howdy. And check in with you a little bit and share about a little bit of what I'm going through. The holidays are a difficult time for me. Um, I also buried a child. I have my son died. Um, it's been many years, but that doesn't make it any more painful. And around the holiday time, I think about all the people I love and I've lost, which have been a lot. I've had a really traumatic um, life, but I'm still so grateful for what I do have and the love I have in my life now. And um, I'm grateful for for having a roof over my head, for having good friends, and for learning to love myself. And um, I want you guys to take a good look at yourselves this week, or right this minute. Start writing down things about yourself that you love, things about yourself that are great. And then you can make another list of things about yourself that you're not too thrilled with. And um, maybe you can start 
one at a time, doing some things, making suggestions on how you can change those things. You don't have to do everything at once. Some things I'm not even ready to look at, but um, you have time to start dealing with those kind of issues. You know, we are all human. We are all flawed, and um, it's up to you as an individual to love yourself and um, always strive to be a better person. And um, I'm so grateful for the support I get from my YouTube fans, and um, I'm just grateful for my life. Oh yes, and my my look for today, my makeup look is um, it was made with BH Cosmetics. Um, I was the, the party time girl. Um, I've got the yellow on there and um, the darker green. I don't have the palette with me. It's made up of yellows and greens and whites, and I just love it. And I'm what else do I have on this BH? I'm wearing the, um, BH um, uh, the bronzer and um, the lipstick. I believe it's right. Yeah, it's somewhere. I have the lipstick. Where is it? It's not lipstick. It's lip gloss. BH Cosmetics sent it to me free. Hold on. I won't be gone long. Let me look for it. It's right here somewhere. BH Cosmetics. I love you. Here it is. This was um. Nope. That is not it. Oh God. No, that's not it. It's somewhere up here. Maybe it's not. Anyway. Anyway. Pardon me for that, but I, I thought I was wearing that. But so anyway, yes. Oh, tell me how you like the look. And once again, the eye look is done with BH Cosmetics Party Time. I think that's what it's called. And um, thank you for um, listening to me go on and on and on. And I love you guys. And have a great week. And. Um, Peace out, bitches.